This is the day after Marcin Tybura submitted Tai Tuivasa in the main event of UFC Fight Night. Tuivasa versus Tybura. W where do we go from here? Is this the last we'll see of Tai Tuivasa? Will we ever will we ever see a Sui again? He is now 0-4 in his last four. Now, the one thing I can't stress enough is it's not like he was losing to heavyweight cans, okay? Like, th there's a huge difference between somebody who's in the top five or even, like, the top eight of heavyweight and a can in the heavyweight division. What is something that the flyweight division and the heavyweight division have in common? Weak divisions, yes. Flyweight's more talented, at least. But they're so ridiculously top-heavy, and they've always have been. Lightweight, bantamweight, a lot of the divisions in the middle, even light heavyweight more to an effect than heavyweight is, have, they have a pretty even distribution of talent. Heavyweight has never had that. The heavyweight division looks kind of like the top five is like your, your NCAA athletes, your Olympic gold medalist, your people that are like the next generation of champion, your greats like Stipe, Daniel Cormier, and John Jones now. And then when you get out of the top eight, you, you get in the people that's like, yeah, but you're, you're talented because you're 250 pounds of muscle and blubber. And you're just a little bit more athletic than the dude who gets gassed in the first 30 seconds of the fight. And outside of that, you kind of just have a bunch of dads that are doing MMA. Let, let, let's just be real here. Like, uh, let's just be honest. Tai Tuivasa, I'm not that worried, in all honesty, because Tai Tuivasa has something that a lot of heavyweights don't have. I mean, there is a worry in mind, but I think they're going to give him a win, and I'll tell you why. Because Tai Tuivasa is one of the few marketable people in this division. You know who else is very marketable, but let's just be real here, isn't amazing? Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis was on a losing streak, and he was lost to a lot of the same people that Tai Tuivala lost to. And we were worried that the Derek Lewis train was done. That the D Derek Lewis was going to retire. He made his money in the sport. He took a lot of fights on short notice. He took Jelton Almeida on short notice before he got fraud checked by Curtis Plate, the Chad. But we, we were worried about Derek Lewis. And then Derek Lewis fights Marcos de Lima, who was looking like a beast against Hoffa lately. He's one of the few heavyweights that can actually strike and utilize leg kicks. And what happened? Masvidal flying knee in the first 10 seconds of the fight. And Derek Lewis is now in a conversation where we can get him some fights that will actually make him money. I think Derek Lewis versus Alexander Volkov is a fight that you can make. I'm aware they already fought. I'm aware Volkov was winning that fight. But let's be real. Derek Lewis versus Volkov, fight night main event. That's better than, you know... Amanda Ribas versus Rose Namajunas. That's up there with your Aaron Blansfield versus Manon Fiorat. That, that, that's, that competes with a lot of main events that we're going to be getting. We can make that a good fight night main event. Just please do not put that in the apex for all that is holy. But Tai Tuivasa is now in just in that a little bit worse situation than Derek Lewis was because Derek Lewis beat Marcos de Lima. But let's be real here. Marcos de Lima was a guy that we didn't know how good he was. Until he got into those rankings, until he fought Tafa. Junior Tafa. I almost said Justin Tafa. His brother. Tai Tuivasa lost to Marzen Tybura, and he was looking good in that fight. He cut up Marzen Tybura early in the fight with an elbow in the clinch. But I'm just going to say it. I I'm going to keep saying it. Heavyweights are shit at grappling. Like, it it's frustrating. And, and this is not coming from a dude who's like, I I'm amazing at this. No, 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 no. They're just not good. Tai Chuivasa, I cannot stress this enough, had a headlock. He, he had a headlock on Mars and Tibura when Tibura already passed guard. For anybody who doesn't understand why, why, how bad that is, you can't do anything with a headlock if your opponent's already passed your legs. Aside from giving up your back. And that's what happened. Tai Tuivasa, for whatever reason, decided it was a good idea to sew off his back to a dude that can actually hit a submission in this division. And Tai Tuivasa got rear naked choke after, I'm just going to say it, not really fighting it. Like, like, I understand 
in the situation is different. Nerves are different, but this was in the apex. This wasn't one of the crowd. Didn't, wasn't really fighting it as, as good as I thought he would, frankly. So who do we give him? We have a lot of people. We can give him Marcos de Lima. A fight that he can win. Now, the leg kicks are going to be a problem, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, Marcos de Lima's, his hands are decent, doesn't have the power of a Tai Tuivasa, got KO'd by Derek Lewis, Tai Tuivasa had a good fight against Derek Lewis. I say that's a fight that you can make still within the rankings. Those same rules don't apply. Like, here's, Piotr Jan was on a three, four fight losing streak in the UFC, and then they gave him Song Yadong, and then he won the fight. And now he's back in a conversation where he can fight for the belt. That's in a bantamweight, a division that's infinitely better than heavyweight. Heavyweight is so talentless, unless you're talking about the top five. And let's be real here. Tai Tuivasa is not a top five talent. He isn't. He, he got destroyed by Cyril Gaon, although he did clip him. He's going to lose to Tom Aspinall. He'll lose to Curtis Blades. He'll lose, maybe he'll lose to Stipe right now. And he'll lose to John. Like, like, I'm sorry, Tai Tuivasa was never winning a title. We like him because he drinks beer out of a Sioux when he wins. And he's pretty likable. I do like the dude. He's pretty fun. The Tai Tuivasa train's not over. We're just changing destination. We can do Marcos de Lima. We can do Alexander, um, I think it's Romanov. When we get outside of the top 10 in heavyweight, I'm sorry. I start stopping the care. If you don't make it in the top 8 of heavyweight, you're not in the championship picture. You're just not. But then there's also something, this is the worst case scenario, okay? The worst case scenario is not that Tai Tuivasa gets cut from the organization. Understand that the UFC only cuts fighters when they've served their purpose. We've seen this multiple times. Even when somebody wins a fight that they were meant to lose, the UFC's cut them before. That one, uh, Jub um, Jubilee, that one Indian guy that came into um, the UFC... Lost his debut against an American can. They cut the American guy. He wasn't meant to win. Tai Tuivasa hasn't served his purpose. What I mean by served his purpose, he hasn't created a star to replace him yet. He hasn't done that. If Derek Lewis lost to Marcos de Lima, they probably would have replaced Derek Lewis. He won the he won his replacement fight. Tony Ferguson. T Tony Ferguson fought Patty Pimblett. The Dana White. Before that fight was talking about Tony Ferguson only lost a high level talent and that Patty Pimblett shouldn't be the favorite in this fight and that Patty Pimblett is stepping up in competition. And then Dana White, you know, like a like switching into a separate personality, when the fight's over, he goes into the press conference and I shit you not, the first statement that he puts out about Tony Ferguson isn't how well he did, isn't about anything he did in his past, isn't about the losses he had. No, it was, I believe Tony Ferguson should retire. What a switch up right there. The fact is, is Tony Ferguson served his purpose to the UFC. They offered him a chance to go out on a win against Nate Diaz. He failed. So, they're going to use Tony Ferguson as a stepping stone for Paddy Pimblett, a star that they need to get him a win because he gets dropped by Drew Dober, Matt Frivola, and any other person that's somewhat decent. So that's what Tony Ferguson was meant to do. Tony Ferguson's just not going to retire, so they're just going to feed Tony Ferguson to some crazy good Dagestani prospect and just be like, okay, he's done. We're not going to redo his contract. That's just how it's going to go. Tai Tuivasa hasn't done that yet. Marzin Taibura is not going to be the star that they want him to be. But there is somebody else that's coming up in the division that I'm telling you the UFC is going to try to make into a star. And his name is Robulus de Spain. The last fight for Tai Tuivasa is going to be Robulus de Spain horrifically KOing him in the first round like how Tai Tuivasa got popular. At that point, Tai Tuivasa served his usefulness. He made money for the UFC. He was a fun personality to the heavyweight division. He got eyes to the heavyweight division, which is something that, you know, we, we, we have trouble with. And he created a new star to replace him, Robulus Dispey. That is what is going to be the end of Tai Tuivasa if he's not careful. Now, how do we get out of this mess? Tai Tuivasa just has to win one fight. Now, don't get me wrong. Tai Tuivasa versus Robulus Despain, if Robulus Despain can keep winning, it's probably going to happen. 
I can see a few other fights that they can do for him, but if I'm tied to Ivasa, Marcos de Lima is a fight that you can do. You can also do Mohamed Usman. Mohamed Usman's been fighting cans, doesn't really have hands. I could see those fights taking place, winnable fights for him. But then, say, the UFC just decides, you know what, we're done paying you more than most heavyweights. You've, you've served your purpose. Here's Robulus Despain, the six foot seven Cuban. Good luck, buddy. Have a suey if you win. And that, that's going to be the end of Tai Tuivasa. I just want to reassure you guys that no, it's not done. Purely because Tai Tuivasa is one of the most likable, most marketable guys in the heavyweight division, let's be real here, is just, it, it's so incredibly top heavy in the division. Tai Tuivasa is going to be able to get a win. They'll give him some obese heavyweight just outside the rankings, and then he'll KO him horrifically in the first round, and then you guys will be like, Sui, he's back. Let's be real. That's what's going to happen. I just want to reassure you guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I got a few more videos I got to make today. This is just the style of video that I'm going for. And with that out of the way, adios, guys.